Hi, I'm Jules Astara. Welcome to my home here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Thank you for spending a bit of your time with me in this way. Today, I'm going to share a little bit of a studio story, a bit about the process and the messages that came forth in these few paintings that I made in one of my sessions for the year in color. It's a, this is my second year participating. It's a year long creative course gathering really with several other artists and guides and participants from all over the world. So it's a great way to tend that creative fire, fuel the creative fire within and explore and color your world. So these are a few that I created in that. I was exploring playful patterns and made several pieces of paper, decorative papers that could be used in collage, or for art journaling or other mixed media art. So that's how I used them. This is sort of like an art journal page that I created first, playing and exploring with the different papers that I had made in the first part. And it just happened to be that I was creating it around the time of August 8th and the Lionsgate portal. And while I did not intend to infuse them with that energy. I wasn't thinking about it consciously, but I was seeing posts about it as that was that it was that week that it was happening. These were created over a few days during that week. And it was something that I hadn't really given much attention to before. So I did read a little bit more about it and learn a little bit more about it. So it might've been on my mind in the background even though I was spending my time and energy and attention on finishing up and wrapping up what I was preparing for that course and these projects. So I did not intentionally do so, but I saw afterwards how this one sort of has like a Finx like shape here. And I don't know if anyone else would see it or if I would have ever seen that if my eyes had put that pattern together to, you know, like in the cloud game where you're seeing different things. I don't know if I would have seen that if it had been created at any other time of the year, but since it happened to be that week, I noticed that it had this Sphinx like presence within it after the fact, after it was completely finished. And well, I think synchronicities are like that are pretty interesting. So that's one of the little kind of secrets that's in this particular one. I had called it So It Seems because I used some inspiration from sewing patterns within it. And I was kind of making a play on the words sew and seams, like sewing, you know, the seams in clothing. And so I was thinking of it as So It Seems. And that is even interesting to me with the Lion's Gate energy and portal as well and how we might different people have different ideas about how things appear and how they seem <laughs> so that's a little bit about this one it would be interesting if you want to spend a little more time looking at it if you'd like to see if it has any other messages or things that you might see within it or that might come up you can go ahead and pause here if you'd like to look more closely and then that one inspired this one that was more intended, like this was more in a journal, on a journal type page style, pure freedom to play and experiment. And then this one inspired by that one is intended to be in a frame. It is 11 by 11 inches. So I have to find a frame that's going to fit it nicely or a 12 by 12 that I can mat it in. And the interesting thing about this one is I made it a few days after the other one. And again, unplanned, but there was this number eight on the paper that I was using. And I didn't notice till after I had chosen to add it to the piece and glue it down that I was actually making this on August 8th, 8-8. Eight, eight. It was that day that I added the eight to it. So another fun and interesting synchronicity in this piece. And there's lots of other things that I love about it and that it could kind of mean and communicate to me. Some things just about the waves, because I had been swimming in the mountain lake near my home. 
other things about kind of like how we travel through time. And so I think I called this one non-fungible time because it has this feeling. I was thinking of NFTs and non-fungible tokens and a play on that to call this one non-fungible time. And the eight reminds me of an infinity symbol. And here they're turned on their side, more similar to infinity symbols. And then this cyclical way of traveling through life and time and seasons and changing seasons. And the even down here, we've got these kind of circular things that could represent cycles. And so that's how it got its title. And again, if you'd like to explore them further, you can pause here. I'd love to hear what you would call them. I should have maybe asked that before sharing what I called them, <laughs> but I love to invite others to have a conversation with the art, to look through it, to see how it might speak to you in some other way than how it speaks to me. And it's been really interesting to hear from others when I've put things out like this out in other courses or other posts and to get to hear what you would call something or how it makes you feel or what you see within it. So thanks for joining me. And I hope that you might consider the art that you come across, take pause and take a little time to let it speak to you, to see the messages and the magic within it. And you can also sign up to receive emails and be part of the email giveaways that I reserve specifically for email acquaintances that I do seasonal giveaways, which could include original art and art prints and books and card decks. So lots of great opportunities there to bring some art off the screen and into your home. <laughs> If you'd like to watch the process to see how this was made, or maybe even make something similar yourself, you can join us for the Year in Color online course with a full year's worth of creative sessions, 52 creative sessions. There's a free sampler session you can enjoy, and if you missed the sampler session, it's still available to start anytime and go at your own pace.